Hello folks. For those of you who want to run virtual instruments on a different PC and uh, use them on your favorite digital audio workstations, there are uh, very few solutions out there. Most of them are uh, quite expensive and some may require special dongles. Today I'm going to walk you through a very simple solution. We're looking at uh, under $200 to accomplish this task. The first piece of uh, software is called AudioPort from Audio Impressions. This is a VST over uh, LAN host. This host runs on Windows, uh, but the VST component to receive the audio runs on both Windows and Mac. The second piece of software is called IP MIDI, which is a MIDI driver uh, for both Windows and Mac. The install procedure for both the software are uh, fairly straightforward, so I'm not going to go over that. For physical connectivity, you can use uh, a standard uh, crossover Ethernet cable connected between the two systems. Or if you are running on a Mac, you could use a standard uh, Cat5 cable. You don't need to use a crossover cable. I'm going to use a remote desktop to connect to my Windows system. But before doing so, I just wanted to point out one important thing. Under the sound preferences, um, you have to select the second option, which says that the sounds are played on the Windows-based computer only and not on your um, system that's running the remote desktop. If you don't do this, you won't see the MIDI ports on the audio port host. So please make sure that you select the second option. Before proceeding, make sure that you enable all the 20 ports on all the systems. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to have more than one instrument. Start audio port. Once you start, you will notice that the audio output is not connected. So before adding any instrument to audio port host, you need to establish a connection between audio port and uh, the, the uh, digital audio workstation. I'm using Studio One as my main uh, sequencer. You could use any any digital audio workstation that support a VST or a Audio Unix plugin. I'm going to create a new song. I'm going to go to Preferences and uh, set up a couple of external synthesizers to send MIDI information to audio port. I'm going to click Add. This brings up the Add Device dialog box where I can name the device and uh, set the MIDI input and output ports. I have enabled all the 20 ports on the sequencer system as well so that uh, you know it's available for me to add 20 instruments. Click OK and repeat the process to add another device. You can do, you can add all the 20 devices so that they are available for you. I'm going to leave this and then click OK. Now I have two external devices. Now go to Mix Window to look at all the external um, devices. I'm going to add the first external device that I created. This is going to send uh, the MIDI information to the external host. Now I need uh, an audio track to receive the audio information from the external plugin. I'm going to insert the audio port VST into this newly created audio track. This brings up the VST instruments property page. Uh, here you can enter the IP address of the remote host and also the audio port where you're going to receive the audio signal. Once you type in the IP address, just click connect. Now on the Windows system, audio port is going to say connected. I'm going to add a virtual instrument, Battery 3, here to uh, show as an example. First time when you start, you just drag and drop the plugin DLL into this window and AudioPort will add the plugin to the list. Just 
select the output port from battery 3 and uh, drag and drop to the first two channels and then set the first Ethernet MIDI port as the MIDI device. Now double click on the plugin to bring up the property window and I'm going to select a basic kit. So I get the sounds. Now I can go here to my workstation and start recording some MIDI information. For this demo I have created a couple of MIDI loops. I'm going to drag and drop the clip into the MIDI track. And position it and uh, maybe make a couple of duplicates. Let's hit play and see what happens. Very nice. Now I want to add another track and uh, go through the same process of setting up a VST on the audio port host and uh, see how things work. Now I'm going to add the second device. So this is going to point to the second uh, MIDI port on IP MIDI. I'm going to add another audio track and insert the audio port VST into this track. This time I'm going to pick uh, channels 3 and 4 and then uh, enter the IP address and hit connect. Now going back to the Windows system, I'm going to add another VST, this time uh, Rapture. Connect the outputs of uh, Rapture to channels 3 and 4. Now select the MIDI device. This time I'm going to select port 2. Double click on the name to get the properties page and uh, pick an instrument. Now I'm going to test it out by playing on my keyboard. Okay. Now going back to my sequencer. I'm going to drag and drop another MIDI clip that I already created for this demo. I'm going to select a region to loop. And hit play. Now I can change the instrument while we are looping and pick and choose whatever instrument I want. sound. Okay, so we got the MIDI information flowing into the host and the audio information coming back into the sequencer. 
Now I want to convert this MIDI data into an audio clip. In order to do that, we usually do a free synth on uh, some digital audio workstations or uh, um, in case of Prisanus Studio One, you do a bounce. Uh, but this, since this one is acting like an external synthesizer, you cannot do a simple bounce. To accomplish this, what we are going to do is solo the MIDI and uh, the corresponding audio track and do a mix down. And uh, in this case, we're going to perform a real-time processing so that it plays the audio and records the audio information. I'm also going to select the import to track checkbox so that it automatically imports into a new track. Okay, now we have the audio recording of the MIDI information. I'm going to play one more time to make sure everything is recorded properly. There you have it, virtual instrument over LAN. Please post your questions and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Um, also make sure you subscribe. Thank you.